Private investigator says he had met numerous times with suspected shooter Kevin Jansen Neal and his wife, hired by the couple, after Neal was accused of stabbing his neighbor last January. That neighbor was shot and killed in Neal's rampage yesterday. CBS 13's Kelly Ryan spoke with that investigator about what he thinks is the motive behind this shooting spree. The investigator says he met with Neil and his wife about a half a dozen times in the past few months in an effort to clear Neil's name after he was accused of stabbing his neighbor. They've been in a verbal confrontation for a period of time. Sacramento private investigator Frank Roman says Kevin Jansen Neil was frustrated with his neighbors. Neil told Roman he confronted his neighbor last January. The neighbor allegedly pulled a knife and in a scuffle, the neighbor was stabbed. I had no indication that he was a scatterbrain, if you will. Uh, he was very articulate. Roman was scheduled to meet with a couple yesterday. When he hadn't heard from wife Barbara with her usual prompt confirmation, he called but only got voicemail. I knew inside, as a former police officer, something was wrong. And at that time, I'm looking at my computer and it was breaking news. When he learned it was to Hayma County, he said he believed Neil was somehow involved. He called Barbara at work and got her friend. She told me that uh, she stopped seeing Barbara because of of Kevin's erratic behavior. Neil did not tell the investigator of any plan to do people harm, but he has a theory. He became so frustrated that. Uh, no one was listening to him regarding his defense, regarding what was going on next door with the neighbors, and he just became more and more agitated. The shooting investigation has revealed disturbing news. A 911 call of domestic disturbance called in from the Neal home. The shooting spree. Neal's wife, Barbara's body, later found beneath floorboards in their home. I think he just lost it. He was just going to shoot everything and anything that was human. Ironically, through his investigation, Roman says he has a disc he's waiting to show investigators that he believes may have cleared Neil's name in the stabbing of his neighbor. Kelly Ryan, thanks. Our coverage of the deadly shooting rampage in Tehama County continues on our website, cbs13.com. We'll have the latest developments for you on our news at 10. The Manhattan is over.